Welcome back everybody and welcome to part two of my let's play of Sonic CD. Retro here. Let's get started. Collision Chaos Zone Act 1. Our token casino, casino night zone style level. And there's Amy and... Oh, there's Metal Sonic taking her away. What a dickhead. Uh, oh well, who needs her? We're only here to get hookers and blow. So, from this point on, you're not really going to see as much um, <laughs> skill out of me. Um, I start to forget where certain signposts are, and, and I think I'm just going to give up on getting any of the of the robot generators. They're just too much of a pain. I, I really don't like having to look for them. It's not really an interesting gameplay mechanic or anything, so. But, I mean, if I come across one, I'll, I'll of course destroy it. So, just to kind of break the ice a little, <laughs> although you guys probably wish I would shut up at this point. Um, what the f- Ah, oh, that's what a crap. Anyways, um, just want to let you guys know, in case nobody knows if you see this before this weekend is up um, big big well not big but a nice Sonic game sales going on Steam I uh, believe it's 50 to 75 percent off most Sonic games pretty good deal doesn't count towards this but hey take what you can get it's an easy way to get some other classics like Sonic 1 2 and 3 and the often ridiculed Sonic 3D Blast, which, you know, I actually kind of like that game. That was fun. It wasn't a good Sonic game, but I thought it was a good game. <laughs> if you get my drift. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, there we go, I got it. Oh, I really need to pay attention to my ring count. So I'm never gonna get the time stones. My goal, at least, is to at least have all the time stones by what is it, Quartz Quadrant? I think. I think that's the earliest you can get them all. But I'm not sure. I believe that's correct, though. So I got my 52 rings. I just gotta be careful. Don't get hit. Oh, whoa! Oh. Ooh, I hate those ladybug things. They they poop out little little spiky balls. Nope! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was bad. It's a good thing those deflect when you <laughs> roll into them. Uh, I, I, I always get hit by that guy. That's like probably the first time I did it. Ooh, now the reason why I'm not such a fan of this level. Get caught in those bumpers. That is probably the most irritating thing about this game. It's just getting stuck on the bumpers on Collision Chaos. Otherwise, I really enjoy the level design of Sonic CD. I mean, a lot of people kind of ridicule it, at least the haters do, that... Oh, oh, the, the levels, they're, they're not nearly as good as Sonic 2. It, it's just, it seems like a little kid went through and just paste, cut and pasted everything everywhere and just made some crazy maze. And I'm like, well... Well, that was kind of the point. Yeah, Sonic CD, yeah, it's a Sonic game, but it's not really about moving fast. It's about, it's more about exploration, at least if you choose to. I mean, you don't have to play it that way. Choice, guys. It's odd to think that any game previous to now had choice. Ooh, damn, I missed it. Just barely missed it. gonna zip around me, I know I'm gonna miss- oh, I got it. Little bitch, there we go. Got the time stone from Aquaman's city. Screw that guy. So, that's three down, four to go. I never really had too much trouble with these special stages, and even if you do, the I think it's the a blue and red UFO will show up in the center. 
And that gives you a lot, like 30, 40 seconds extra if you're starting to run out. So, if you're having trouble with those special stages, just be patient. Don't, don't freak out. It's actually quite easy if you just play patiently and get those extra, get that extra time whenever you need it. Ooh. Just heard a loud crack of thunder outside. Hopefully I'll be able to do this without having to restart my my recording. Woo! Look at me go. Alright, let's go to the past. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, how many are there? There we go. This is probably the cheapest way of doing it, but it works. Once this thing hits 88 miles per hour, we're gonna see some serious shit. I believe one of the uh, machines is over here somewhere. Hey, what do you know I was right? I don't completely fail, although who really cares about that one? I should be looking for the, the robot generator. But I think I already said that I don't really care about those that much. Oh, I hate those things. That is the one enemy that really pisses me off in this game. I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna let that go. Another really irritating part of this level. Oh, uh, damn it! Just get past this. This is why I kind of wish I was playing a Tales playthrough. I could just skip all that crap. Here's the goal. Time for our fourth time stone. See what this one is. Oh, some kind of floating island. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Surely it's not. No, it's not. It would be kind of neat if it was Angel Island in the background. Which makes me think. I wonder if they ever considered adding Knuckles as a playable character for this. Hmm. Maybe DLC. Yeah, probably not. That would be kind of cool, though. It'd give even more variety. Whoa. Oh, that is a shame. That is a giant shame. Oh, well. It's not like they give you that many points when you finish it anyway. Got the blue one. All right. understand what that 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 says uh, when when you get the time stone a lot of the English that's played in this game really does baffle me but I guess that makes it more entertaining for you guys right oh shit This is probably my most, the most irritating boss for me in this game. Ooh. Oh, did I fail to mention to you guys that I'm really terrible at pinball? Oh yeah, I really am. Ah, oh, I forgot that he shoots that crap at you. Uh, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on! No, no! <sighs> Be here all day, guys. Just sit tight. Why doesn't that knock me up there? It looks like it does. Okay, yeah, it does. There we go. It only took me a million years. This 
Sonic got through Zone 3. Hmm, so what's next? Oh. Check it out, guys. Does this look like a certain Sonic 1 level or not? <laughs> Pretty much looks verbatim like the uh, Sonic 1 level. I forgot what the name of the level was. Let's see, there was Green Hill, then there was Marble Zone. And then... Wow, I can't remember the name of the water level. That's really bad. <laughs> oh well. Oh, going backwards. Should've known. Alright, so... I think it's safe to say that water levels for Sonic games are probably the worst. I think most people would agree on that. I mean, you go underwater, you get slow, you gotta worry about your breath, but about the only thing that I remember about it fondly is stick hang people. You know that sound that happens whenever Sonic's about to run out of breath? Isn't that the most like tense feeling you can get? But oh, this game doesn't even have that. I guess for the Sega CD that would have required putting in an extra track of Red Book audio and it would have been kind of annoying having to hear all the tracks start over. Alright, fifth emerald. I mean stone. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna screw that up all the time. Aw, oh, check out that. Uh, that's uh some kind of Neo Tokyo futuristic looking place. Oh crap, I almost hit that one too. Oh, now they're getting a little harder. Oh. Oh. See, look, I'm, I'm choking. <laughs> oh, I normally do this just almost flawlessly, but. Not today. Not today, my friends. Not today. Stay thirsty. Oh. Oh, maybe I can get it without having to get the extra time. No, I'm not. Oh, crap. There we go. There you guys can see how truly awful I am. Where'd it go? I don't even see it anymore. There it is. Now I don't see it. Wow. Let's just go all the way around. <laughs> Clearly I've embarrassed myself enough. There it is. Now I got it. Oh, no I don't. Wow. Clearly I don't remember the patterns nearly as well as I thought I did. Alright, what is that? Turquoise? A turquoise one? I don't think that, I don't think uh, the Chaos Emeralds had a turquoise color. So, I guess these are different from Chaos Emeralds in, in one way at least. Alright, Tidal Tempest. Act 2. Let's try and get through this quick. I hate this damn level. Although, doing these levels on the, the Tidal Tempest zones on, uh, on Time Attack actually isn't very hard. Actually, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is find a path, do it a few times, find a good path, and you got it. I mean, it doesn't really require a lot of twitch reactions or anything like that. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I need that. Hiccup. That's what I always thought he... What he was making a sound of. I always thought he was hiccuping. Oh, look, a 
last sign. Oh! Look, they got it right there, and I passed right by it. Why did I... There we go. Well, let's see what the past version looks like. Man, that must really hurt. Getting your face bash back and forth. Oh. I'm... I'm not sure I like this version better. Music's kind of dumb, but eh, whatever. Do you remember to get those those rings, Retro? Hey, look! <laughs> He's not even stomping anything. The fish are just swimming around him. Cause that's real menacing, right? I think I, it's quicker if I go this way, if I remember correctly. Oh, crap. I knew that was going to happen. Oh. Oof. Oh, what do you know? So I guess I'm going to have a good future here. Oh! Wow, my first death. And it put me right back. Is that the beginning? Oh, that is the beginning. Wow. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. I'm guessing it doesn't save my progress with the, uh, the machines that I've destroyed either. I guess I'll find out. I haven't seen any enemies yet. Oh, I think they're all dead. Well, at least that'll, that, that's that for that, I guess. So I guess gotta stroll, not drown, and not get freaking crushed. I guess we could actually go to the future if we want. I mean, there isn't going to be any enemies there anyway. Hm, I will if I see one. What is up with my brain today? I can't seem to decide where I'm going. Well, anyways, I've been kind of boring here for a bit, so... Let's think of a topic to talk about. Hmm. Well, in the comments, post about what games you're playing. I mean, that's what we're here to do, right? Play games, watch each other play games, and have a good old time. Just like, just like back in the day of inviting your friend over to chill on the couch, and play some Halo together or something. Good times, right? Or just. Talk about uh, all the games. Uh, just just whine about how much money you lost in the Steam sales this year. I know I lost tons. I have so many games, and that's actually partially why I want to start doing Let's Plays on YouTube. It's because I've got too many games to play. I figure I might have a little more incentive of playing them if uh, I had a community to enjoy it with. Now, I, I, I'm, I, I play PC games quite a fair bit. Um, mostly, lately, I've been playing Killing Floor and a uh, little bit of, little bit of Orcs Must Die. I got that, I got that at the very end of the Steam sales. Um, but I have tons of other games. I have Terraria and Minecraft and all that other jazz, but I, I haven't really played much of them. Um, if I find a good server or community to play on, maybe I maybe I will. It maybe if you guys want me to make videos for that kind of stuff, but I doubt you do. I mean, <laughs> no use doing everything absolutely everyone else is doing. Might as well just make a channel that's Modern Warfare 3, Minecraft, Terraria channel. You know, it's it's all the same stuff. I mean, obviously the ones that rise to the top are rise to the top for a reason. And I don't really see myself as interesting enough to get to those levels, but maybe if I had co-commentary, I think that's a lot of the secret I've been seeing in successful YouTube videos. It's just having a duo or more, just joking around. 
like the Yogg's cast and others like it. Whoa, I can't slow down. Okay, uh, that's really bad. I have I've been talking way too much. I haven't been paying attention at all. If I want this Oh crap. Okay. Enough playtime. Let's let's get this done. Alright. I should still be able to get it. I didn't fail. Although I still consider this a failure. Just utterly embarrassing. <laughs> okay, one more. Just in time for the extra time to pop up. And bam, there we go. Got it. Purple. That's Prince's gem right there. When doves cry. Alright, six down, one to go. So on to the boss stage. And then probably my favorite level. But we'll see. Let's keep going. Didn't get the good version of this. Oh well. That's okay. Let's load up on rings. A shield. Although this boss is horribly easy. If you die to this boss, then I don't I don't even know what to say. Of course, now that I say that, I'm probably going to die. I can just see it happening now. Pick up this invincibility that is absolutely of no use during the boss fight. Alright, the idea of this boss is he makes a shield of bubbles. That is... really lame, even for him. Whatever. Whatever floats his boat, <laughs> so to speak. Oh crap, that's gonna hit me. Oh. Yep, I thought so. That's really bad of me. Wow! Wow. I should feel really embarrassed right now. And you know what? I do. Alright, he should jump down any second now. There we go. He only takes one hit. I guess it's because you hit him so many times on the way there. Alright. Well, that's the end of part two of my Let's Play. Uh, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, if you have anything that you, you'd like me to talk about, or any games you would like me to stream in the future, just let me know. Retro out.